Hello everyone, this is Crota coming at you, giving you game one in a series between Hawk and Foggy. Hawk is going to be the human player on the top right hand side of the map here as spawning as, well, why didn't it register the click? There you go, register, spawning as the light blue human under the name Look Around. Meanwhile, Foggy will be spawning down here on the bottom left as SK Hot. Now, I'm going to speed things up to two times speed. And I know a lot of you guys out there have been um, putting messages in the comments. I'm not sure on which videos, but saying that you would like to support me since my computer is starting to go downhill. I'll leave, um, I'll, I'll try and remember to leave my PayPal link, but it's also on my Facebook. If you guys haven't checked that out, it has my link, it has a link to the donation page for Facebook and for my Patreon page as well. Anyways, we're going to be looking at the Ancient of War taking a significant amount of damage back over here as we're now finally getting that Demon Hunter over. Meanwhile, back over here, no big surprise that Hawk is opening up with what we'll call a Water Elemental Expansion and Militia Creeping down or water uh, excuse me militia creeping and water elemental and uh, creeping down over here gonna take down the null assassins nothing too surprising here but things are just getting underway now i am curious as to when the night elf will really want to put pressure on that archmage archmage has a tendency to get very strong later in the game with that brilliance aura since he does give mana to not only the other casters but the other heroes as well that is always very very dangerous as heroes are generally mana based the more mana they have the stronger they become the stronger they become the well the bigger problems you will have as well anyways demon hunter now making his rounds footman doing a little bit of a foot race as we are setting up a we do have a scout farm there so nice positioning coming in from hawk to just keep track of what is going down now however the demon hunter may accidentally turn and run into a group of units there the demon hunter now needs to do a little bit of a sweep around and now the archer is taking a bit of damage this could be really bad news as the archer does not yet have shadow melt i believe however dropping that water elemental will end up hurting in, in the long run as the water elemental now turns back the other way and the footman going to be able to get in some extra shots onto that demon hunter once more now i'm not quite sure where we're going to be looking at a tier two ex or an expansion normally the human player will bring down a series of militia like this and now try to expand right around nightfall meanwhile the night elf player already teching the tree of ages and that is what both players are really trying to do right now. Trying to get the tech advantage versus trying to get the economic advantage. Militia quickly running through. However, because the creeps already woke up, it actually causes a little bit of a problem. Demon Hunter does not get the kill there. Gonna go ahead and leave focus on that Demon Hunter. Mana burn once more onto the Archmage. Archmage still okay on life, but relatively in a, in a dangerous spot there. As we are going to look at that Archer, perhaps trying to get away. That Archer is going to go down to 11 hit points. The Archmage is going to be able to take it down very, very easily. There it goes. As the Militia are going to finish up, surround that Ogre Magi. But you got to be careful because that Demon Hunter is still within range to try and get that necessary Mana Burn. There's the Mana Burn, but still not going to be enough. Pendant of Energy picked up by the Archmage. And another Water Elemental could be dropped. Demon Hunter should be dropping another Mana Burn. No, does not. And now with level 2 Water Elementals, Hawk definitely has the advantage going into the mid game because those huntresses are not going to be nearly as useful huntress is generally very strong and can hold their own against say level one water elementals but against a level two water elemental where the hit points and the damage is both significantly higher there's it, it's just not a fair fight any longer especially when you consider the piercing damage on that water elemental dealing even extra damage to those unarmored huntresses now we're going to be looking at the demon hunter coming back in from the bottom side perhaps trying to cause a little bit of problems we can see that hawk is just holding this expansion and that's really what he wants to do so far though i believe foggy should really be pulling back and trying to figure out where else he could go you can see that there is a tree of life being built here so perhaps foggy is setting up an expansion of his own and will be walking that down now the timing on this may be a little bit 
conspicuous to Hawk as he knows that all the units are going to be backing off here. You can see that the Huntresses are healing. They're going to rush in and now perhaps run back out. This is going to be a rather dangerous spot to be in as the Demon Hunter was able to at least stop the Arcane Vault. However, the Arcane Tower is going to be coming up here in just a moment and that is going to be a lot of missing mana on that Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter really not going to be able to do very much here as you can see that that Peasant is just running around back and forth. The, however, the Huntresses do get that bounce damage. Staff of Teleportation in order to get away. Demon Hunter pretty much out of mana as the remaining Huntresses now retreat. Tree of Life nearing um, completion. Here we should be seeing it um, eat through these trees or perhaps even just walk around, clear out this expansion here. The Huntresses have to be very careful. They cannot just rush back in and take needless damage. As we're looking at all of these Huntresses here trying to... Oh, they're going to Shadow Meld for just a little bit. Archmage does have Dust of Appearance and the units will continue to run. All right, no waking up of the creeps. That would have been a pretty safe call there. As the Huntresses are fa rather fast units. Demon Hunter... No, Panda now regrouping with the Huntresses. And the Panda is really hoping to shut down the Footman. The Panda very strong against this fast expansion opening because Art and the Archmage and the Footman are the only real units that you're going to be dealing with. And that Panda is able to breath of fire and take down or deal a lot of damage to those Footmen um, rather quickly. However, once we do get to Tier 2 on this main base here, we are going to be looking at Spellbreakers. And Spellbreakers are in and of themselves immune to magic, making them the perfect counter to a Tier 2 Panda. Now, what are we going to be looking at here? Panda, a Demon Hunter, both of them are in a little bit of retreat. It looks like Hawk is just going to be pushing down the pressure with the Footmen and the Water Elementals, but this could all just be a trap here. Ancient of War now making its way down. Are we looking at the yeah the Tree of Ages is, or Tree of Life is trying to eat its way through, and the Demon Hunter just going to get some more mana burns. Demon Hunter still sitting at level 1. And the Panda can just turn around Breath of Fire many of these units. Um, there you go. There's that Breath of Fire hitting many of those units. And that was perhaps about 700 to 800 total damage. All of those units so cl um, closely clumped together. All of them taking 70 points of damage. That is going to really take a big chunk of life the more units you are hitting. Ancient of War. Doing a little bit of tanking now as the Tree of Life... We'll be, in, we'll be entangling this gold mine here in just a moment. Meanwhile, Archmage is trying to make its way through. He, he does spot the Tree of Life. Huntress needs to get back, and it is gonna, not going to be able to get back, though, as a, as a troll trapper in Snare goes down. All right, Cloak of Shadows. Archmage unable to pick it up as his backpack is full. Panda down to, what, 60 mana, unable to breath of fire. And unless the Archmage, no, Archmage does have a water elemental, but still, that's not going to be altogether that useful as we now see a disenchant go down. Demon Hunter inching closer to level 3. Panda just a hop, skip, and a jump away from level 2. And once those level cusps are, are met, things are going to start swinging in the other direction. Economic advantage has pretty much been neutralized. Army size, 48 over 66. I think Night Elf is slightly smaller. Yes, 45 over 50. But that's before you account for the additional workers that the human needs in order to populate this expansion over here to the bottom right. So five peasants mining off over here. It looks like there's about eight or... Yeah, eight peasants here. Yes, currently mining away. Forest Troll Trapper taken down. Demon Hunter gets to level 3. Panda already at level 2. And the Panda and the Demon Hunter can push back the other way very, very quickly. And if they are able to catch him off guard, this is going to be able to hurt. Or this is going to hurt tremendously. Demon Hunter now rushing in, going up against a whole bunch of footmen. The footmen deciding that it is not a good idea to try and stick around. But the Panda could get a breath of fire here. No, slightly low on mana still. And if the Panda does get to 70 mana, things are going to start to go real, very much awry here in just a matter of seconds. All right. A lot of low hit point footmen. Demon Hunter extremely low on life. What is going on here? The Demon Hunter is still now alive. Panda still um, just saving some of that mana. There is a drunken haze to kind of slow things down on the other side. But the footmen with that defend making it very difficult. 
for the Dryads to really do anything. Rifleman, Footman, Archmage, Mountain King. Mountain King could not have come at a more opportune time. Pretty much arrived right when he needed it. And that might be enough to now give Hawk a little bit of an advantage. Dryads now dancing or prancing their way off to the north. Panda could come in with a breath of fire, but still rather low on mana. Staff of Teleportation. In comes the Demon Hunter. No Clarity Potion for the Panda, which I would have actually just expected as commonplace at this point. There goes an Ensnare now as the units are going to try and engage. Rifleman in the back. Huntress getting sniped down rather quickly as the Demon Hunter and the Panda go after the remaining um, re re what? retreating units. Panda, Mountain King. Now just doing in a little bit of a chase. It looks like the Mountain King could easily win. Has a potion of invulnerability as well. And I think this is now just a human's game to lose. Unless, he, unless humans make a catastrophic mistake, I believe the human is going to be able to take this game. He just has too much of a clear advantage. Economically speaking, his base is rather up and defended. As we're looking now at the Rifleman Sorceress Mortar Teams now making their way off to the top left. All right, here we go. Panda trying to get to level three. And um, is it going to work? It looks like the Null Warden will just get taken out the old fashioned way. Mountain King going to perhaps get a surround and take down the Null Brute, but still no level, th still no level two or even level three for that Mountain King. As the panda now makes its way over here back to the 9 o'clock position. Alright, it looks like this could be the main fight here. If the Tree of Life is able to join in on the fight, things could go um, very, um, very, very differently. But I don't think the Night Elf is going to try to engage even though he is going to lose this um, Ancient of War. Ancient of War doing a good job just fighting back. In comes the Priest now. In comes the Water Elementals. Demon Hunter now trying to push through. Takes a Storm Bolt to the face and is momentarily stunned. All right, Panda now up to level two or level three. So level two Breath of Fire is on the table and it should be blown down here in just a moment. There's the Drunken Haze. There's the Breath of Fire. And you can take a look at those Mortar Teams. Mortar Teams are losing a significant damage over time. As the Panda is now looking to just clear out the remaining remaining units here. Bear is more than enough to push this back and it looks like what is going on with the sudden onslaught of bears. Night Elf now seems to have a bit of an advantage. However, we did just see a scroll of healing. So the scroll of healing has healed up pretty much every single human unit. Mountain King now in a little bit of trouble. Has a potion of invulnerability if things get too rough. But the Archmage quickly just goes the Brilliant Aura level 2. Storm bolts another unit. Or sorry, there's a mana burn onto the, the Archmage. Talk about knowing your opponent's timing. Storm bolted right when he got up, um, right when he got up to 75, and now the pandas, um, the panda and the bears are just starting to fall over in comparison to the the sorceress and the casters. All right, Mountain King still trying to run laps here. Going to be able to head back around the other side. Potion of invulnerability. It looks like oh wow, this could be very very close. No real sign of where he is. Thunderclap, not a possibility just quite yet. Oh, he could have Thunderclap now. No, he threw a, th he threw a Storm Bolt at the Mountain King. Are we going to perhaps get a bash? No bash. And the unit is able to retreat and run away. All right, two bears left. Spellbreakers are here. Another Druid of the Claw now making its way over. Units are desperately, desperately trying to retreat. It looks like it's going to be over there as the Panda is still... What is he doing? Oh, he is now revealed and he will get taken down. There he goes. And I do have to believe that is GG. You lost your primary hero. No real way to deal with this massive army. And with that said, I think Hawk is going to be able to take game one in this series. All right, just waiting for the final GG. Both sides playing pretty well, but... Hawk just playing better. In comes the Bears. In comes the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter wants to finish the job. I don't believe he will be able to. Now using Mana Burn to perhaps slice his way through some of the buildings. And also some of these units here. There goes another tower. Yeah, there goes another. There goes another tower as we now see the Demon Hunter walking laps very, very slowly. 
around the map. A second Breath of Fire, no Staff of Preservation on the bear, which could come back to haunt him, as you don't want to be giving free experience to your opponent. Demon Hunter now down to, what, 178 hit points. He wants to be able to use it on the Staff of Preservation on himself. Instead, has the Panda transfer to him, and now the Panda now left with the bill, hoping that he can get away, but there is the GG. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one.